Homicide, 1918, the case of 17-year-old John Whitehouse. John Whitehouse was found guilty of the murder of Miriam Asprey, 24, but insane. They had been seeing each other, but Miriam Asprey had broken off their relationship around Christmas 1917, after which John Whitehouse was said to have become ill over it. On the 20th of March 1918, he went to Birmingham to see her and cut her throat with a razor. After he walked to Wolverhampton where he was arrested, Miriam Asprey had been a munition worker at Kinnocks in Witten and had been lodging at 13 Lozells Road in Birmingham. John Whitehouse had been a steel worker. She'd been seeing John Whitehouse for some time, but she discontinued her acquaintance after he took to beer again. In the letter that Miriam Aspey wrote to her mother in Handley on the 18th of March 1918, she wrote, I know you will be surprised to hear that Jack Whitehouse has been over here last Monday. He has gone completely out of his mind. He came over here with the intention of doing me some harm with a razor. He is staying at friends. We had to send for the doctor. His father came over to take him home. I think I should have some peace now. I will tell you more when I get home. A woman that had worked with Miriam Asprey and had lived with her at 13 Nozzles Road said that she knew that Miriam Asprey had been walking out with John Whitehouse but said that about the end of January or beginning of February 1918 that she had told her that she had written to him, breaking off their acquaintance because he had taken to bad habits, drinking. She said that Miriam Asprey told her that she was afraid of John Whitehouse because he had threatened her with a razor and that he had written her letters saying that he should do her in. She said that Miriam Asprey told her that on Monday the 11th of March 1918 that he had threatened her at New Street Station and shown her a razor and told her that he would cut her throat. She said that Miriam Asprey was later called from her work in the middle of the night on the 11th of March 1918 to go to him as he was unwell and was at a friend's house in Sillium Street, Lozells. She said that Miriam Asprey went to him and sat up with him that night and that a doctor came to see him and that his father later came for him and took him home. She said that on Wednesday the 20th of March 1918, between 7.15 and 7.30pm, that she'd been walking home from work when John Whitehouse came up to her in Whitton Road and walked with her to 13 Lozells Road. She said that he kept saying that he wished to speak to Minnie, meaning Miriam Asprey, and that when he had seen her, that he should return home. However, she said that she told him that she didn't think that he should come there at that time of night for any good reason, because he had threatened her before. However, he said that he had not come to hurt her, and that he had nothing with him, and that he was as weak as a kitten. She said that whilst they were talking that they passed Miriam Asprey and another girl, but said that John Whitehouse didn't see her. She said that when they got to 13 Lozells Road, that she went in and John Whitehouse stayed outside, and after a few minutes Miriam Asprey came in. She said that she told him that John Whitehouse had wanted to speak to her, but said that Miriam Asprey didn't want to go out to him. However, she said that she advised her to speak to him, so as to get him to go home, and that she went out with her, leaving two other girls in the house. She said that John Whitehouse spoke to Miriam Asprey for about ten minutes, while she stood away, and that she didn't hear all of the conversation. However, she said that John Whitehouse then all at once rushed at her, and caught her by the neck. She said that she thought he was going to strangle her, and so he got between them and pushed John Whitehouse off. She noted that up until then she had not noticed anything in his hand. She said that Miriam Asprey then screamed and John Whitehouse ran away. She said that she followed him for a few yards and then felt her hand bleeding and so went back to her house next door to 13 Lozells Road where she then found out that she was cutting the fingers of the left hand. She said that she then went to the general hospital where she was admitted as an inpatient. She said that she was told that Miriam Asprey had a wound to her throat but said that she didn't see her and that she was afterwards told of her death. The following day at 5.30pm, John Whitehouse went into the police station at Wolverhampton and said, I want to find my mother and father. He had a postcard in his hand with his address on one side and the photograph of a girl on the other. The police inspector said that when he asked him for his name, John Whitehouse replied, I don't know, 
that's it on the postcard. The police inspector said that he then looked at the postcard and suspected from there that he was the man that was wanted by the Birmingham police for causing the death of Miriam Asprey, told him so. However, he said that John Whitehouse appeared dazed and made no reply. He said that when he searched him, he found a razor along with several photographs. He said that he then cautioned him, charged him with the murder of Miriam Asprey. John Whitehouse was tried at the Birmingham Assizes on Monday the 15th of July 1918 and found guilty of murder but insane and was ordered to be detained during His Majesty's pleasure. 13 Lozells Road has since been demolished, but what would have been 9 Lozells Road, the Royal Oak Inn, still stands as a point of reference.